A Democratic candidate for U.S. Senate from Indiana is using today's date, 420, to promote his Senate campaign. Thomas McDermott releasing a new ad this morning. Watch this. The legalization of cannabis is important to this campaign. My whole adult life, I've been... McDermott is currently the mayor of Hammond, Indiana, which is right along the border with Illinois, where recreational marijuana is legal. In this ad, you see he crosses the border, smokes a joint with a group of pro-pot advocates. McDermott, who's running against Senator Todd Young in November, has been vocal about his support for legalization. This is the first time that he's smoked on camera. McDermott wants to legalize weed on the federal level, and today he joined some fellow advocates to push for Indiana to change its marijuana laws. Yeah, and part of that conversation is Fox 59 State House reporter Kristen Eskow shows us this is a priority for the party. Several bills were introduced at the State House regarding marijuana legalization this past session, but none of them got hearings in committee. Still, Democrats are continuing their push to try to get marijuana legalized here. Veterans are teaming up with Indiana Democrats to push lawmakers to give the green light for cannabis use. I'm here just speaking for myself and the other veterans that have PTSD that would like to choose a different path. The group is kicking off a statewide tour, pointing to a 2018 Hoosier survey poll showing 80% of Hoosiers support some form of marijuana legalization. Among the advocates, Hammond Mayor Tom McDermott, who's calling for cannabis to be legalized at the federal level. The legalization of cannabis is important to this campaign. McDermott, a Democrat running against Senator Todd Young, is the second U.S. Senate candidate to release an ad online this year in which he smokes marijuana. He says the ad was filmed in Illinois, which allows recreational use. What's happening is a lot of our Hoosier, you know, Hoosiers that are caught with this plant are getting arrested, getting thrown in jail, getting criminal records, and that's unacceptable. Senator Young's campaign declined to comment for this story, but in 2014, Young said he believes medical marijuana should be a decision left to the states. So far, 37 states have legalized marijuana for at least medical use. Indiana isn't one of them. We have to put pressure on the supermajority in the state house because they're the ones that aren't doing it. Governor Eric Holcomb says he won't support state legislation until marijuana is legalized at the federal level. There's a lot of other states that um, obviously have ignored that. I'm just not one of those people that will ignore that law. I also reached out to Republican legislative leaders to get their thoughts on this latest push for cannabis legalization and what the future may look like for any of those bills next session. They did not return our request for comment. In Indianapolis, Kristen Escal, Fox 59 News. Kristen, thank you so much. Today